Hey everyone, this is Darkin, and I haven't done a tutorial in a long time, so I figured this would be a good time to kick things back into gear and, you know, get back on the ball of uh, creating new tutorials for people. So, I'm going to talk about creating romance covers. You know, all the ladies like reading romance novels, so, you know, I think romance covers is a huge untapped market that a lot of fantasy and sci-fi illustrators don't really get into. I think, you know, it's really popular. And I think you can make a lot of money doing it. Plus, you know, you don't really have to do much painting because you can just take some photos, add like a watercolor filter, and then boom, you make as much money as some other stupid illustrator that's spending all these hours and days uh, painting everything by hand. So I'm going to go over creating a romance cover. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here in Photoshop and I have my new document open. And the first thing you're going to want to do when you're working on romance covers is you're going to want to find some good reference. So let's go back to Google and Google romance cover models. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of hotties on here and you can easily just pick from any of these because, um, you know, we can totally just steal any of these images and copy and paste it and change it around a little bit. And, you know, that's that's how the pros do it. So this guy looks he looks pretty good. He's already on a green screen. So let's just copy this image and go back to Photoshop. Paste this bad boy on there. Resize him a little bit. And you know, since you don't see the bottom part of his legs, we'll just crop those off because you know I don't know how to paint legs. So I'm just gonna not even worry about it. I keep him on another layer. We'll go and mask him out later on. We need to kind of find some other elements though. He needs a background. So let's go and see, let's look at the yeah, horses. Horses are really popular. I think all girls pretty much like horses. Plus, you know, if you look at the romance covers, a lot of them have horses, which means they must be onto something. So I think I'm gonna add some horses on mine. Let's go and let's try and find a good one. Yeah, the image should be fairly big. You should be able to see you know, quite a bit of the horse. Uh, this one, this one might be pretty good. We'll copy that one. Create a new document, paste it in there. We'll grab some other ones just in case that one doesn't work out. Let's see. Yeah, these might be pretty good too, though. Hmm. This is always the hardest part of creating a painting is trying to find your reference. This one's kind of nice, but I don't know if that's the best pose for the horse. Actually, screw it. We'll just use this one. I think this one's probably pretty good. We'll have to flip it, though, so that uh, you know, the horse is kind of facing the same way as the guy. So we'll just quickly copy this. Actually, you know what? That background's pretty nice. I might even just copy the whole thing. I don't have to worry about doing extra work. We'll copy that. We'll paste it behind the guy. We'll turn him off for a little bit. So we'll resize this horse. I can probably edit in a different sky later on. All right, put that in there. Put this guy in here. And we can go and mask this guy out now. All right, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to mask this guy out. And I'm sure there are a lot of different ways to do it. There are probably easier ways and, and simpler ways to do it. But I'm going to do it this way because this is how I know how to do it. And I don't want to bother going and learning some other way. So I just click this little doodad down here. It's for a quick mask. So now you're going to paint in red. This is going to be all the area that you want to keep. So you can you know, maybe go in here and select all the big areas. No pun intended. Then you just fill that with red.
I don't really have to worry about uh, getting too detailed because I'll go back in and do that by hand. Oops. All right, so now we have that all done. I can go in here, just do the rest by hand. It doesn't really take too long to do this. So I have this dude kind of masked out. I didn't really, you know, spend too much time on the hair because screw it, you know. Who cares about hair? Actually, let's go ahead and we'll just mask this out. Although you want to hit uh, select inverse first. And then boom, you got this guy. You know, half of my work's already done right here. You might want to move this horse around where the horse should be down a little bit i don't want to have any crazy tangents in here yeah we'll probably uh maybe take out this guy we'll just go and copy this guy from somewhere else kind of race out this mountain All right, so let's go find some clouds now. Clouds. All right, so you're gonna wanna search for some large clouds. Let's see, we want some some nice clouds. Let's see. This would look pretty nice. Look pretty nice too. Hmm. We'll go with these ones. All right. We'll just. Put it behind everything, paste that in there. I'm gonna resize this. Go and clean up some of this edge a little bit on these mountains. Alright, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. All right, now, you know, you don't want to get in trouble by copying all this stuff, so we'll change the guy a little bit. So I just so happen to have my face that's, you know, already masked out. So I'll just copy my head. I'm going to paste this in here. You know, I've always wanted some pretty big muscles. Never had the time to go to the gym. So this is an easier way. See, I didn't even have to worry about the hair because I'm switching it to my head. We'll try and, you know, match the size of the heads a little bit. Put that in there. And I can see that my face totally doesn't match the color or anything of the, uh, the reference here, which is no problem. Just do a color balance. Start out by changing this stuff around. Maybe I need to uh, desaturate it a little bit. Do another color balance. Maybe do a levels. Oh yeah, levels. That's where it's at. Another color balance. Some more reds in there. Go to highlights, put some more cyan, some more blue. Starting starting to get there. Alright, we'll go back to the mask on this guy. 
and mask out his hair. Actually, you know what? I think I want his hair. I'm going to mask out my hair. Yeah, I've been losing my hair, so it'd be nice to have some, some real hair. Put that in there. Of course, you can kind of see his head a little bit. Maybe we'll move mine over. You can always... Uh, Mask out part of his head. You know, that ear doesn't match my ear. Okay, we'll go and we'll just draw over it. Yeah, same with this part of his head. Draw over that. All right, go back and mask out more of my head. All right, yeah, it's starting to look pretty good. Let's see, maybe I gotta tilt my head just a little bit so that the neck kind of matches a little bit more. All right, now I need to mask out my neck. Maybe I'll use like an airbrush to blend it. You'll probably notice that I don't really have that strong shadow side on my face. Which might be a little tricky. Maybe we'll go new layer. Do like, let's try hard light. Let's see what that looks like. Here, we'll put this in a group so we can turn this all off at one time. Maybe we'll go a little more desaturated. A little more saturated. We'll drop the opacity a little bit. Yeah, I think maybe that shadow is a little too strong. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. You know, maybe my uh, the light on my face is a little too bright. We'll go to a darken layer, which is my favorite layer. As you can probably figure out. We'll just take out some of this light over here. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Take that little bit of this skin color. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I like that. Try, let's try just dodging it. It's always good. It might be a little too much. See, now that's too too saturated. Gotta go and maybe desaturate it a little bit. There we go. We're getting there. Looking pretty good. I probably wouldn't be able to tell this is a Photoshop job. It looks pretty pretty realistic. Now I was talking earlier about you know girls like horses and muscles. So you know what else can we add to this cover that's really gonna draw in the female audience? You know Highlanders are always really popular. So I think I'm gonna change my jeans into a kilt because you know Highlanders are sweet. 
I can spill. Ah, see now we're getting we're now we're getting the movie. We don't want the movie. Let's go with kilt. Now we want we want a good picture of a kilt. We want kind of a sexy picture of a kilt. Because again, you know, you want to draw in the ladies. So let's try and figure out which of these is going to be good. And, you know, you want it to kind of match your image. So I'm, you know, I'm turned quite a bit. I need to look for another dude that's turned. Plus, you know, what kind of color kilt do I want? Oh, that's that's pretty good. We'll save that one for the second, the sequel. It's kind of hard finding the really turned angle of a kilt. What about this guy? We'll try this one. Kind of have his has his hand down there, you know, the same way. Copy this. Put this in a new group. Erase this out. Probably mask it too, you know, in case we ever need to go back to the original. Yeah, looking pretty good. Yeah, I think he's still missing something, you know, I think maybe a Tattoo, tribal tattoo. Yeah, those are pretty popular, right? Yeah, see, these are awesome because these are already masked. Let's see, this, these look pretty good. Pretty big image. Oh, it looks kind of pixelated. Let me try and find a better image. Let's go back to our search tools. Go to large. Yeah, we'll just see. We'll copy this. Make another group. Paste that in there. Yeah, it's pretty small. Let's see. Well, I think this this one might be good. Command J that. Good old magic wand. All right, now here comes the magic. Just make this bigger. Maybe set this to let's see, maybe hard light, maybe multiply. Yeah, multiply. There we go. All right, now we can go back to that the warp tool. Maybe try and make it look like it's warped to his anatomy a little bit. Maybe move this around. And mask this out these little areas over here and it's a little pixely so maybe we'll blur it a little bit of Gaussian blur maybe it's sort of an old tattoo all right that's yeah that's looking pretty fancy All right, so now I'm just gonna merge all of these layers. Yeah, create a copy just in case I wanna go back to it. And I'm wondering if I need to fix some of the lighting a little bit. You know, maybe so that he kind of matches the horse a little bit more. Yeah. 
we're going to go and go to this filter gallery. We'll do like a dry brush. You can get some of that texture in there. Set that to screen. Maybe make it a little bit lighter. Drop the opacity a little bit. Mask it so that the bottom is a little darker. Alright, that's looking, looking pretty good. Then we'll do a color balance. Try and get everything to match a little bit more. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go and do that just for the background. Make it a little bit warmer. All right, so we're almost done. You know, I think maybe we need to just create a cool title here. You need to, you know, come up with a title that's really gonna pull in the audience. You know, what's gonna draw someone's attention, you know, amongst the thousands of romance covers that are on the shelf. So let's see, you know, we've got a Highlander here, we've got a horse, we've got some mountains, some clouds and a tattoo. You can kind of combine those. You know, I'm thinking uh, maybe, Highlander's final ride. You know, I could talk about the horse, could be talking about other things. You never know, you know, if we want to kind of canalize the audience a little bit. You can kind of pick a, a really cool font. You know, the one that's really fancy and that you can't really read because you know, it, it looks cool. That's kind of the whole point, right? Make it look cool. So let's just browse through here. You know, what's going to say, you know, what's going to convey the essence of this book? Make it pretty big. You might even want to make it bigger than that. Maybe, yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to cover up the, the kilt pretty important you know maybe we should do some good old blending options let's do uh, color overlay we'll make it white then we need to add you know, probably some sort of a uh, drop shadow or something And maybe even some sort of a bevel or something. Try out some of these different options. Let's see how that looks. You know, I kind of want it even bigger. Maybe a hundred. So 
I'm not gonna fit. We'll go with eighty five. We'll go with eighty. And we'll put this on this side of his face. Or maybe we'll put it down here. We'll go with 75. Of course, we got to put the author's name down here. Darkened. So we'll just go and copy this layer mode. Copy layer style, paste layer style. You know what? Maybe I want to play around with this title a little bit more. See how it looks down here. Nah. I think I like it better this way. Maybe I have a different color overlay. Oh, yeah, you know, that really makes it pop. Here, we'll go with that. That looks pretty sweet. We'll go and add another color balance adjustment layer we'll just to try and tie everything together. It adds a little bit of color harmony over everything. I'm wondering as well if, if I need some more impact, you know, some more action in this. You know, I think maybe an explosion. Explosions are always good. Good for uh, action. You know, this might appeal to, you know, the guys a little bit. You know, maybe try and tap into that market you know, instead of just the female audience. You know, I think if guys saw explosions on this cover, they might think, hey, you know, I, I kind of want to see what's going on here. So I have these uh, little explosions here in Video Copilot. I'll try and browse through these, see if any of them are going to fit what I want to do. Yeah, I don't really know if I want to use that one. Let's see. I'll try and pick a good one here. Nope. Well, this one might be good enough. Let's see. Let's try this one. So we'll just copy this. We'll go to behind me. Paste that in there. You know, we might need to mask out the horse, or maybe I'll just put it on this side. Oops. Depends on uh, how lazy I'm feeling. Try masking this out a little bit. So it's just on that side. I don't have to mask out this part where the horse is. You know, I kind of do want it on this side of the horse as well. Let's delete that mask. You know, maybe we'll just put it on both sides. 
go to another frame, copy that, paste it to this side of them. Maybe set these to some other layer mode. Make this one a little bit lighter or something. Actually, you know what? We'll just go back to screen. You can always do like a linear dodge add on top of it. Some more of that fiery glow. You know, while we're at it, I think we also need some embers or some sparks kind of flying in front of the guy. You know, that way it'll really tie everything together. So let's go and see if we can find some good ones here. Right. But now I think we're getting somewhere. Yeah, I might even go and do another linear dodge add. Here, let's go and close this timeline here. Get some more space. Get some more of this fire line on this horse here. Get some more of this grass. Yeah, so I think this is going to be pretty much it. You know, I don't think I can really make this cover any better. So I hope you enjoyed um, this little tutorial showing you how to create a sweet romance cover. You know, I definitely want to see what this book is about. You know, I want to read it. I want to pick it up. I want to buy it. So uh, mission successful in terms of uh, making people buy this book. And I hope you tune in next time. And I'll see everyone later. All right. Bye. Hey again. So obviously this was just an April Fool's joke. Um, you know, I figured I probably should say that just in case anyone thought I was actually serious. Um, you know, I don't mean to downplay any romance cover artists or anything like that. You know, I don't really think all the things that I said, you know, this was all just in good fun. So um, yeah, hopefully everyone understood that. And I'll see you guys later. All right, bye.